and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another brief history video. I thought um, I could maybe turn this into a series because I really quite enjoyed the last video. So we're going to do another one for you today. Now on today's brief history is going to be for League 2 side Cowden Beef FC. So Cowden Beef, also known as the Blue Brazil, was formed back in 18. 81. County Beef are currently playing in the League 2 of Scottish football but sadly they've not had the most decorative history in terms of major honours in Scottish football and just to point out that they haven't actually won any of the major trophies in Scotland in their entire history. So the Fife based club currently play at their stadium in Cowden Beef of course which is Central Park and has an attendance of just under four and a half thousand. So in the entire history of Cowden Beef FC they've only ever competed in the top flight of Scottish football only on two occasions throughout their history. The longest occasion being back all the way in 1924 to 1934 and ever since then they've only actually competed in the top flight once since that time which was between 1970 and 1971 and since that time they've kind of been bouncing around throughout the lower leagues in Scotland and to mention again they've not had many successes throughout their time for the club at Central Park so with not much success under their belts for Cowden Beef apart from only winning five lower league titles throughout their history they made a very professional appointment all the way jumping to 1997 when they appointed ex Cowden Beef player ex-Hearts player and manager and ex-Scotland manager Craig Levine. After joining the club as a manager in 1997 where Craig Levine actually started his playing career with Cowden Beef, they then went on after a few years to go and win the Scottish Third Division title in 2000 and 2001 season. Unfortunately two years later they would then be later relegated again back to the third tier so as you can tell, there is seems to be quite a recurring theme with Cowden Beef as they tend to just very bounce around a lot throughout the Scottish lower leagues. But all the way back in 2005, Cowden Beef went on to win their first divisional title for a long time, taking them 67 years to actually win one during that time. And it was under ex-Hibs striker and player manager at the time, Miksu Patalainen, who achieved this feat. After missing out promotion to Stenhouse Muir in the playoffs all the way back in 2008, in 2009 they were however promoted up another tier to the second division in Scottish football after Livingston were demoted down to the third division of Scottish football after breaching rules of insolvency in Scottish football. County Beef soon started to find their feet within the Scottish division after quite a hard start to their campaign and amazingly they went on to finish third place the then again season and then achieved a place in the Scottish football first division. So the only sort of um, experience I've had with Cowden Beef was when they came to Tencastle all the way back in 2014-15 season and they suffered their heaviest defeat in history which was a 10-0 win to hearts. So after the brief history there we're going to go and visit Central Park the home of Cowden Beef and we will see you there. So yeah, here we are. This is the Central Park Stadium on the home of Cowden Beef. And to be honest, as you can just, just see from the, the clips there, it's a really grassroots old school stadium. Um, it doesn't look like they've actually changed much uh, throughout 
uh, Cowden Beef's whole existence, but there's a kind of um, warmth as such to it. Because, like I said, a very sort of old stadium, but just to let you know, like, I don't know if like it's like a, a racetrack that's going around the whole entire pitch. I don't know if that's right, probably not, but it's just a very odd thing to actually have. I've never actually seen anything like this in a football stadium, but I guess that's what makes it kind of unique as well. So yeah, it's pretty darn cool. But yeah, absolutely, a really fascinating stadium, a very unique, um, again, there's not many stadiums that, I, I mean, me personally, that I've seen that just looks like it's not changed at all. Even though it's my first time here, you, you can tell that not a lot's changed, like, especially with the classic sort of standing in the stands as well. It just looks proper old school, man, and I really, really like it. So for Kaido Beef FC, hopefully the only way is up for them, and... I wish you all the best in your endeavours to try and put yourselves up at the lower leagues and who knows, dream big and maybe get into the Scottish Premiership. Yeah, I really do hope you have enjoyed this video and the second edition of A Brief History. If you did enjoy this video, please maybe think about subscribing for more future football content and I will try to continue this series as best as I can. And if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. That would be really appreciated. But yeah, as ever, thank you very much for watching as always and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.